the world is like a, a windstorm. The winds can blow from all kinds of directions, constantly changing. So you have to be able to find yourself a secure spot inside. This is why we take refuge first in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha, because they're the people who show us how you really do find that secure spot. And the reason we need external refuges is because there's all kinds of misinformation out there about how you're going to be happy. And so you want to find somebody who's reliable, someone whose method has shown real results. So that's why we need an external refuge. But of course, the external refuge isn't enough. We've got to build it inside through the development of the good qualities of the path. We've got virtue, concentration, discernment. When your mind has these qualities, even if you haven't re reached awakening, you can help resist a lot of the temptations to do things that are going to be unskillful, that are going to cause trouble. You're beginning to find a good, solid place where you're not going to be blown around by the wind. And it's finally when you find the ultimate refuge, that's at the end of the path. Okay, that's when you're really rooted. No winds can blow you around. So remember, you don't want to set up your sails to catch winds, because again, they could knock your, if you're in a boat, they could knock the boat over. You want to be on firmly on the ground, and you want to have a, as the Buddha said, that pillar that's polished and it's round. It offers no resistance to the wind at all. And it's rooted so it doesn't get blown around. That's the kind of mind we're trying to develop. So think about the refuge and the three levels that we need it, external and then the qualities we develop, and then find the ultimate refuge inside, which is the peace of the deathless. That's what we're here for. That's what we're practicing for. Always try to keep that in mind.